Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom on, right? So, this your brother Shopper, man. So, this this lesson kind of was inspired. I was watching the brother Dubar Kabash. That bro, I was watching the brother Dubar Kabash um, lesson, you know, on him, the, the Lord pulling him up out of the world. And so it kind of got that spirit on me. And then I ran into a, a homeboy of mine I hadn't seen for a while. He, you know, you know, he came by last night, stopped by, whatever the case. I ain't seen him in years, years, years. And so, yeah, so, yeah, man. So, yeah, the homies and being different and all that. And, you know, you change. You you change. This, this, this truth changed you, man. Start out at Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This truth, this truth changed you, man. Once you see and understand what's going on, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 15. But if it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all his commandments. And all his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the first thing you 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 learn when you going through things, you just talking to the brothers and listening to the things that they dealing with, the different brothers. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are the curses, man. And you're going to have to understand that, man. And so once you understand that, that's going to pull you out of this world. Because this is not our rest, man. This is not our rest. We're not going to be comfortable here. We're not going to be comfortable here. Micah chapter 2 and 10. Micah chapter 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with the sword destruction. Yeah. This is not our rest, man. And so, yeah, so them pictures, that was, that was me back in, I went back to New York City, I'm in NC. I went back, but I'm from New York originally. So I went back in 2019, the summer, you know, right before the Lord tapped me on my shoulder. But I was already kind of, my mind was already changing. That was the first time I'd been back to New York in like 10 years. So the Lord was already changing me. I went back. You know, I, I, you know, seeing people I hadn't seen in years and everything like that. So I was pretty much in a positive mood for the most part. Really trying to talk to the women up there in New York. They wasn't, you know, they wasn't. I, I was like the women in New York just to me, this didn't seem like women. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that was off. And so listening to one of the things yesterday that the brother was going into and the situation he dealing with. It's all in the scripture, man. It's all in the scripture, man. Get it right here. Der Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, you think about the situation. The one brother, he was telling me about the situation dealing with his baby moms or whatever. Names don't matter. You know, they know who I'm talking about, but you dealing with things with your baby moms and all of this. Hey, because they got all the power in this society, man. The laws is changed up. The, the things is changed upside down in America, man. In, 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 in the world, period, man. So we not going to get no rest. We not. You, you, you got to you gotta come out the world. You got to come out the world. You got to come out the world. So, yeah, so, you know, brothers know what I'm doing. They know what I'm teaching. They know I don't be trying to force it on them. I send them a lesson here and there, whatever the case. Hey, if the Lord put the spirit on you and you you, you go further with it, 
hey, all praises Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It's not of me. I, I, don't, I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's the Lord that got to tap you on the, uh, tap you on your head and be like, okay, it's time to wake up. Romans chapter 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, huh? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Yeah. So, you know, th this truth gets you, and then you you put off the old man, the old conversation, um, or whatever the case. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find that one. Put off the old man. Let's see if we could get that one. You know what I mean? So this kind of was a, a, a lesson to, to the homies, man. To the homies. To the to you know, they 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 still running into me and like, yo, and and, and he little dick. Yeah, he different. Put off the old conversation. Put off the old man. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta put off the old man. You see, look at the image right there. You look at that. You got to change. <laughs> you got to change. You got to change it. The, for you to be successful in this in this world, you need to be thinking about the world to come after. If you're not doing that, you going to hurt yourself, man. Yeah, let's get it. Let's go over here and get it. Let's go over here. Ephesians. I just wanted to see where it was at. Come back over here and get Ephesians 4 and 22. Yeah, you got to change, man. You got to change. If you don't change, you're going to get destroyed here in Babylon, man. Whether you believe it or not, man. Whether you believe it or not. Ephesians chapter 4 and 22. No, let's go up. Let's get some more of this meat. Let's go... Let's go 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, chasing after the BBLs, chasing after them dollars, doing, selling, doing, scamming, all of that shit, man. You, you just got to do what you need to do just to survive, man. Of Ephesians 4 and 17. This... I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as others, other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the, bold, the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling, have given themselves over to lavishness to work all uncleanness and greediness, but ye have not so learned Hamashiach anointed. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in, is in Yahweh Shai, because Jesus is not the correct name. The letter J wasn't invented the 15th, 24th. Yahweh Shai is a Hebrew. Jesus is a Greek name that the Edomites came up and put on the, the, the Messiah. Right? So that's the first thing. You got to have the correct names. The, the name of the Lord is Yahweh. He exists or he to be in his son's name is Yahweh Shai. He delivers or he saves. You got to have these names. That's the first thing you got to know. You got to have the correct names. 22, this is the point. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. We just read in um, Romans 12 chapter that you got to come out of the world, be not conformed to this world. Ephesians 4 and 22, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, 
which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah, man. This is what you got to do, man. You got to change yourself. What's that one? Um, how shall a young man cleanse his ways? Let's get that one. Let's get that one. There you go. I know it's in Psalms. I didn't know if it was 119. Ah, con. I was right. I was going to say 119, but I was like, let me try to get to it quick instead of looking for it. Because it's all in the spirit. I didn't write nothing down. This all in the spirit. I had two scriptures in my head when I started, and I got them already. Let's get it. Let's go. Psalms chapter 119 and 7. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart. When I shall have learned thy righteous judgments, I will keep thy statutes. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed. There too, according to thy word. Yeah. This is how you cleanse your ways, man. This is how you got to clean. You, you got to. And so, hey, man, it's not up to me, but it's up to me to warn you, to tell you what's, what you need to be doing, man. So let's get this one. Sin is transgression. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law, man. Yeah, so it ain't no, oh, we could do whatever. You're not going to be saved by the law, but you got to do the best that you can. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is transgression of the law. So you got to do your best, man. You got to do your best. Because the Lord didn't give anybody license to sin, man. And he hates the sinner. Matter of fact, let's get him. Ecclesiasticus. Also, Sirach, 12 and 6. For the most high hateth sinners. And we just read sin is transgression of the law. And he will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep of them against the mighty day of their punishment. Yeah. So the, the most high hateth sinner. Then you get this one right here. Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, 15 and 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. So, yeah, so you got to, you understand what's going on in the scriptures. You understand that you're Israelite. You know what I'm saying? You got to do your own research. You got to study to show thyself approved. And you got to change, man. You got to do your best to change, man. You got to do your best to change, but you got to have faithful works. You First, let's get this, excuse me, Salakia, Judges. Let's get that one, Judges. Is it down or up? It's up. Let me see. Salakia, give me a sec. Bear with me as Elder Apostle Tahar say. You know, you start, you start rushing. I had two scriptures pop in my head at the same time. Where is it at? Book of Judges. See, Joshua dead. Go right there. Deuteronomy. Under Deuteronomy. Judges 5 and 11. You rehearse the righteous acts. You do the best that you can. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in a place of drawn water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Yeah, you got to do your best, man. You got to try to do your best, man. But the law, the, the law alone is not going to save you. You need you need faith what works. That was the next one I was going to get. Where is that at? James. James 5 and 11. No, not Shalakia, not James 5, James, James 2, I think 15. Yeah, yeah, we start at 15, come. 
14, James 2 and 14. What doth it profit, my brother, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, so if a brother come up to you, a sister come up to you, and you have an opportunity to give them some understanding, to, to give them give them something that they need as far as understanding in the scriptures, and you don't, what did it profit them? And one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Yeah, what did it profit? What, what good did you do? They ran into a so-called prophet, a man that know what's going on in the scriptures, and you don't tell them. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have shown I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. So you got to do something. You got to do something. And I will show thee my faith by my works. So you got to put some work in, man. 20. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. Yeah, man. You got to put the work in. But like I said, the law alone is not going to save you. You, you need you need to have faith. Have faith in Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's the he's the judge coming back, man. He's the judge. Galatians 2 and 21. I do not frustrate the grace. We are under grace right now. I do not frustrate the grace of the Most High. For if righteousness come by the law. See? If righteousness come by the law. Then Hamashiach is dead in vain. So yeah. So if you say, oh. I, I know I'm an Israelite and I got all the laws, statutes, and commandments. I'm going to keep them perfect. Then you pretty much said that Yahweh Shai didn't need to die. He didn't need to be sacrificed because I'm good. I found the laws, statutes, and commandments. And that's going to get you stuck. Because if you if you hurt one, you hurt them all. And you can't keep all of them um, correctly. Shit, most people don't even know all the laws, statutes, and commandments. It's 613. And then there's other things as far as not shaving, not putting um, cornering, cutting the corners of your beard and things like that. It's all kind of things, man. So, yeah, so I just wanted to go into this one, man. I don't want to make it too long, but it kind of put the spirit on me, man. When I, when the, when the, when the, um, when the dude, you know, the brother I've been knowing for years or whatever. I hadn't seen him in years, though. I knew him like, I'm going to say 30 years ago. Something like that, 30, 30 something years ago. And I seen him for the first time in at least about 15, 20 years or something like that. So, yeah, you know, you're an Israelite. You got to come out of the wicked shit, the wicked things that this society, you know, have us doing. And you got to change, man. You got to put off that old man, man. And I got to warn you. I got to tell you. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing my job. Matter of fact, let me get that one. Let me get that one. Warn them from me, man. Warn them from me, man. That's what the Lord said do. Warn his people, man. Because cause, cause the, the pain is coming, man. Pain is coming. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Now watch what it say now. The Lord said, warn them for me, right? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his inequity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Because I didn't warn him. I knew he was going off. I didn't try to tell him nothing. I didn't. I didn't do a lesson. I didn't. I didn't give him no scriptures. I ain't say nothing to him. So the law going. It's gonna be on me. But watch this. Nineteen. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his inequity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. This is my job, man. This is my job. The Lord, the Lord told us, don't hold our peace day and night. Salakia. 
Let me see how long I'm going. Okay, we ain't that bad. We get this last scripture. Isaiah 62. So I have a couple of homeboys, you know, because I'm I'm I be I be 55 this shit. So I got a couple of homeboys that kind of, you know, that that seem like, you know what I'm saying, that might be coming around or whatever. But, but for the most part, they not. And that's, you know, that's the Lord's will. And we understand that two thirds of the people ain't going to get it anyway, man. We understand that. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Keep not silent. And give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah, man. So, yeah, so this one, this for the homies, man. <laughs> this for the homies, man. This this lesson is for the homies, man. Yeah, I came out of it, hey, if the Lord wants you or if you predestined, maybe you'll come out of it too. But I got to still do my, my job as a, as, a, so, as a prophet, as a man of the Lord, as, as somebody out here supposed to be teaching the scriptures. All right? So with that one, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhahakwadash, Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala and the Bible Bible, the Rock of Thumb family, Shalom.